Hey, you may squad, welcome back to my channel. So I am re recording another get ready with me. This is day two of my birthday celebration. Um, it's not my birthday yet, but I'm celebrating leading up to that day. So this is day two. I already recorded my look for last night when I went out. And so I'm recording my look for today to go to the movies with the, with my little kiddos. <laughs> so um, before we get started, uh, I want to say I hope this video finds you in good spirits. And again, I'm so happy and blessed to see you guys here in the new year. I'm really excited about this year. I hope you are as well. You know, let's set these goals and just go after them. Just attack them. I just feel like this is going to be a great year for a lot of people. So if you want to be one of those people, just set your mind and say, this is going to be my year. Because the mind is a very powerful thing. If you really believe and focus on something, you can achieve it. You can make it happen. So if this, you want this to be your year and the years to follow us to be your year, claim it and say, this will be my year. And say it every day, every morning, during the afternoon, at night. And thing, you'll just notice how things starting to click and fall into place and you'll start achieving your goals. It's not going to, doesn't mean to say you're going to achieve them like next day. <laughs> but you will get them this year and the years to follow. All right, so um, this is also going to be kind of a, a, a mini haul as well. So I don't, I'm not going to upload this video. I don't think I'm just going to kind of put it in here somewhere in a clip. I, I'm part of an admin group for a feature page, and we ask what was the faith foundation for everybody, and they mentioned Maybelline. So I went out and got the Maybelline Superstay. Okay, so it's... It, the caps turn around, but this is what it looks like. <clears throat> and I tried it and guys, I literally want to cry all day at work because it just, it was, you'll see the picture. It was separating. Like every time you touched it, the product would pick up. And I was just like, why does everybody love this so much? This product is horrible. So, <clears throat> What I came to realize is I started thinking and I mentioned this other new product in a video, which is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, which is a new mattifying primer. They have um, a foundation and a concealer to go with this. I purchased the concealer, but it was way too dark. So um, I don't know if they make lighter shades, but at the Walgreens I went to, um, they only had like kind of like the darker shades or darker or deeper tan shades. Um, so you know, I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and use the, the primer and I followed the directions. I pat, this is the pat on the primer. I did it. This is trash. I'm sorry. I, I don't like it. I read the reviews, some reviews on Ulta and a lot of people didn't like it. It, it peels. It makes your foundation separate on the, on your oily T-zones. Like my, ugh. it was so bad. I was like, I just wanted to cry. And I, I eventually had to wipe off the bottom half of my face because it was it was creasing so bad you could literally dig out the foundation out of my crease out of my lap area then I had like this long line crease right here it was just and we're in customer service you don't want to look like that in front of your customers you know you just you just don't want to look like it. and I just felt unput together as a makeup artist you know it was just as a woman as a professional it was just it was just horrible. <laughs> so I wiped it off. And luckily, I had some of my um, dual foundation from Modus where you could wear it uh, dry or wet. So uh, I was like, oh, let me let me wet this. So I wet the, wet the foundation. And I was able to kind of blend together the areas. And it set beautifully. And I was able to get through the day. And no, makeup is not important. I'm not saying that and that you have to have makeup or anything like that. I prefer to wear makeup. And if I'm going to wear makeup, it needs to look right. You know, I just... You know, I just, yeah, it was, it was just bad. I just, I just, I didn't feel comfortable and we don't feel comfortable. That can be upsetting, you know? And so I was just like, I can't believe I look like this. <laughs> anyway, do not buy this or maybe it works well with their foundation, but if you're not using their foundation with this, I don't think it's going to work. And I did use this with my AJ Crimson and I noticed that it started doing something funky and I was like, I don't remember this foundation doing this. It's because of this culprit. So anyway, what I tr I tried this out again. I tested this out with a different primer, and it worked very well. So it definitely was a NYX. I used the uh, Milani um, face primer because it has hydration in it, since this is a very mattifying product, but I'm out. So I'm going to try it again using the Infallible Matte Lock, and I'm hoping 
that the two matte products don't do do too something crazy on my face. So let's go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I did buy two shades. I bought because this product does oxidize, okay? It oxidizes about two different to two different levels, one to two levels up. So try to write reviews from different people with skin tones that are similar similar to mine to figure out my shade. So I tried uh 140 light tan and <clears throat> once it's finished oxidizing, it was very yellow. So I was like, okay, I do have yellow undertones, but I don't need like super, super duper yellow foundation. It just, it, I look plasticky with <laughs> this foundation, especially with that NYX primer. So I decided to go uh, with the 220 Natural Beige. So that's the color I used yesterday. And <clears throat> I believe this is going to be my shade. It has a um, slight pink undertone. But once it oxidizes, it's fine. So I'm going to just start with two pumps. It's, this is buildable. So start with two pumps just in case you don't, you know, need that much on there. I'm also using, I'm using a lot of new products today, guys. I'm also using this new brush I got in with my uh, monthly brush club. And this is Morphe E25. So this is a foundation brush on this side. And on this side is a concealer. And I do like it. I do like it. I didn't know if I was because I really typically like kind of like the dome shaped or flat brushes to apply my concealer. But this one does the job pretty well. I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would cover, um, you know, certain areas I want to cover on my face, like the acne scars. I didn't think it was going to do it. I thought I was just going to kind of brush over it and leave it there. But to my surprise, it's working out pretty well. And guys, I just woke up, so if I seem a little mellow, if you ever watch a video and I seem really mellow, it's probably because I just woke up. <laughs> so my personality is still downloading, so you'll get little bits and bits of it <laughs> as I wake up and do this video. Okay, so it covers uh, pretty well, but I'm going to go in with uh, just another layer just to make sure that like this is covered and to kind of get this area under my nose cover. So I'm just going to pump this directly onto the face again. I center it more on this side. Like I said, I don't feel like you need a lot of this product. So that's why I would just start off with a little bit and then build up from there. I'm going to go on with the beauty blender. I actually have a beauty blender, <laughs> the one I got for Christmas. So I'm going to go in and just, you know, lightly blend out those brush strokes and just to give that airbrush smooth, flawless application. Now, I forgot I was going to try this technique that I heard about Instagram. A lot of people are now, um, not that this is an old technique, but it seems to be trending again, where you put your um, concealer on first and then your foundation. A lot of people are saying they like the finish of that better versus the other way. So I did want to try that just to compare to see if it really is like a noticeable difference. Cause I mean, you already kind of do that already because color correctors are concealers. So, you know, you color correct your face so that way once you put your foundation on, it's like a perfect match and all the areas, problem areas on your face are all concealed and you know, you get that flawless look. So we kind of already do that. So I was just gonna see how it really affects like the under eye area. And this foundation doesn't dry like super fast. So you have time to, to work with it. Um, it didn't like completely mattify me, but that could be cause I have oil. I put oil as a moisturizer on my face. But overall, uh, I do have a matte base going on. So now I'm going to apply my concealer. I'm still using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. So I'm going to apply that. And while that's drying on my face, kind of solidifying up to give me that full fuller coverage, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Okay, so now that we have our concealer all blended in, now I'm going to go in with my Sacha Buttercup Light Powder. And I did change the way I, that I set my face. I'm using the Morphe 
M536 brush. And I'm just gonna, what side I do on this side? I'm just gonna press the powder into my face. So before I would use a beauty blender, I'm just using a brush this time because I feel, um, what am I trying to say? I get a better um, finish by pressing in using a brush versus baking and using the sponge. I, I feel like my makeup looks better throughout the day, me doing this versus the other way. Like the other way still look good, but I don't know, this way just looks better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my fifth eye base combo which is going to be the uh, Modus Eyeshadow Base and the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. Okay, so first we're going to start with Juvia's Place Nubian Palette, and we're going to go in with this shade right here. Now we're going to go into the Masquerade, Masquerade, the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette, and we're going to use this shade right here. All right, guys, I don't know why I didn't talk at this point. I don't know if I forgot I was doing a YouTube video and thought I was just doing Instagram mini tutorial. I don't know. Anyway, we're going back in Juvia's place and we're using this beautiful, beautiful turquoise shade to apply it to our eyelids. I like to use my fingers when I'm doing softer looks because when you use a brush, it creates that cut crease effect. And I'm trying not to do that with this look. So I really want to keep it very soft. So using your fingers uh, will do that. And also using your fingers sometimes helps to cut down on creasing on certain eyeshadows. Um, but the ones from this palette really don't crease that much. So it's mostly for the softening effect. All right, now for our highlight shade, we're gonna go in with this color here. Okay, and then for my um, blush, I'm going into the Glow Palette using this shade right here, which is Beam. Okay, for my lippy, I'm going to use my favorite lip liner, which is the uh, Kiss Professionals Roasted Coffee. That's this brown shade here. Just going to line my lips. Okay, and I'm going to top that with Nicole Miller New York. I don't know what shape this is. My little girl picked this out for me for Christmas and I think at Marshalls for like $3 or something. And um, I actually like this lip gloss. The other ones weren't very pigmented, but this one is pretty, pretty nice. It has like a pink tint to it. And it looks really pretty paired with this brown um, lip liner. And I'm gonna spray my setting spray. I'm still using the Ramil Stay Matte and Go. It does a pretty decent job. I think I might try the Urban Decay, just so that's a drugstore brand. I think all the drugstore brands I've tried, I think I do prefer that one better, but I do wanna try as far as higher end, I will try the uh, Urban Decay just to compare and see, since you know that's still a top fave for people. All right guys, so this is my completed look here. I think it was pretty simple, two eyeshadows, just apply that on. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get moving because the movie has started. Uh, I wanted to miss the previews on purpose because the little one does not sit still. So the longer we can keep her out of the movie theater, the better for us in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit notifications so you know when a new video is headed your way. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.